What pre-skills are needed in order to be able to manage subtraction with decomposition, like the column subtraction that's up on the screen? In this video, I'll focus on six pre-skills, one at a time, and I'll do this by looking at an example for each of the pre-skills. I'll also provide references to my ebooks and my books in case you'd like to see how I teach these pre-skills to my own pupils. The first pre-skill is to know the components of all the numbers up to 10 and to understand the inverse relationship between addition and subtraction. In my example, you can see that if we know that 8 can be built out of 4 and 4, we can work out what remains if we take 4 away from 8, or what we must add to 4 in order to make 8. This kind of understanding would allow a pupil to answer any of these kinds of questions about the key fact of a number. In this example, it's the doubles fact about 8. The whole of my ebook, Exploring Numbers Through Dot Patterns, is devoted to the component facts of all the numbers up to 10. And you can also find ideas in section 1 of the Dyscalculia Toolkit. Another way to learn about number relationships is by working with Cuisinaire rods. In my example, rods are arranged here to create the story of a number. Here it's the story of 8. The story of a number serves to demonstrate all the addition and subtraction facts about that number. So putting this pre-skill in place will allow pupils to answer any of these kind of questions about any of the components of any of the numbers up to 10. To see how I teach about component facts through Quizno Rods, see chapters 5, 6 and 7 in my ebook, Exploring Numbers Through Quizno Rods or take a look at section 1 of the Dyscalculia Toolkit. Let's move on to another pre-skill, the complements of the number 10, and by that I mean the components or the number bonds of the number 10. Here's my example. These are the important facts about 10, these five facts, which can be seen very clearly in a story of 10, and they can also be seen by moving beads one at a time on a bead string. So a mastery of this pre-skill would allow a pupil to answer any of these sorts of questions about the complement facts of 10. You can find information about how I teach about the complements to 10 in Chapter 7 of my Cuisinaire ebook or in Section 1 of the Dyscalculia Toolkit. The next pre-skill that I want to look at is subtraction performed as complementary addition. And what that means is that we can work forwards to find the difference instead of having to work backwards. In my example, 8 minus 4, you can see that if we take the 4 away from the beginning of the line, there's no need to do any counting backwards at all. In an example such as 14 minus 8, complementary addition would be the best method. The answer is the difference, the gap between the two numbers. And we can achieve that by working forwards. What must be added to 8 in order to reach or to equal 14? You can find a chapter about this topic in my ebook, Exploring Numbers Through Cuisinaire Rods, or you can find a great deal of information about this whole topic, bridging and complementary addition in overcoming difficulties with number. The next pre-skill I want to look at is the idea of exchange that underpins the whole concept of place value. This means that we need children to understand that 10 ones is the same as 110, or that 110 is the same as 10 ones, and that if two amounts are worth the same, they can be exchanged. And the same goes for 10 tens being equal to 100, or vice versa, or 10 hundreds being equal to 1,000. And the other thing that children need to understand about place value is the rate of exchange. 
In our decimal number system, the rate of exchange is always 10. So 10 smaller units are always grouped in tens when exchanged for a larger unit. Here we can see 10 ones being exchanged for 110, and 10 tens being exchanged for 100, and 10 hundreds being exchanged for 1000. Working in the other direction, we can see that any decimal unit can be split into 10 smaller units. That's what we mean by decomposition. So a thousand can be split or decomposed into ten hundreds, a hundred can be split or decomposed into ten tens, and a ten can be split or decomposed into ten units. To see how I teach place value at the concrete level, take a look at chapter nine of my Quisenaire ebook, or see section four of the Discalculia toolkit. The final pre-skill that I'm going to be looking at in this video is the connection between carrying, when we work in columns, and decomposition. Take a look at this example, where in preparation for doing a complicated subtraction, I'm first doing the related addition, so that pupils can see for themselves that the action of carrying a 10, combining 10 units to make a 10 and putting it into the next column, is directly related, the inverse operation, to when we have to decompose a 10 into 10 units for subtraction. With all the pre-skills in place, the pupil is now ready to tackle the kind of subtraction that we started this video with, the one in this example. And they should be able to understand every single step of the process of decomposition and subtraction.